batch shipment, shipping multiple sales orders. Creating a ship dock for one sales order at a time may suit your needs, but if you want to process multiple sales orders at one time, then you should use the batch shipping functionality in all orders. With batch shipping, you can take all open sales orders and instantly create ship docks from them, no matter how many you have. From the sales menu, select New Batch Shipment. By default, the open sales orders which are due to ship will be loaded. You have the ability to change the load criteria using the filters. You can filter based on ship date, order date, customer, and location. By default, the list of orders are sorted by and also allocated by the order number. The Allocate By option will dictate how available inventory will be allotted to your sales orders. For example, say you have 100 units of item XYZ. You have three orders that require XYZ and the amount of 200 units. If the Allocate By option is set to Order Number, it will allot the available stock of XYZ to the orders in ascending order from lowest to highest. The result is summarized in the Status column. Only my first order was listed because the status all means stock is available to ship for all the open items on the order. However, I want all orders to show, even if it is back ordered. So I check show orders must ship complete and will have back orders, then reload orders. Now all the orders will appear for the filter date. The status will show partial when, on the order, stock to ship for some items are completely available, some items are partially available, and some items are not available. None means no items will ship. There are two ways of viewing this list, in the default item mode or the order mode. Item mode allows you to view items that will be shipped for all the orders listed in aggregate. That means the item mode will show item XYZ having 100 total available units between two locations, but requires 200 units for the three sales orders. Order mode allows you to view the items on an order by order basis. To toggle between the two modes, click the following checkbox. In item mode, you can choose to include or exclude a particular item from shipping in any of the orders listed. Click the included checkbox. You cannot change the allocated quantity in item mode, but you can in order mode. For order mode, click the box only view items for the selected order. Then you can exclude or include a particular order by checking or unchecking the Include checkbox. In Order Mode, you can manually change the allocated quantity of an item. Originally, all of my orders were to ship from headquarters, but if I left the ship from field blank, the batch shipping screen will allow me to pick from any available location. If there are multiple locations from which an item can be shipped, the item and the quantity available will be listed. Type the allocated amount or select the orders to be shipped and it will be allocated for you. Additionally, the item listings pane can be filtered by item or by shipping location. After typing in any required memo information, simply click the Process button to start creating the ship docs, or click Close to exit the screen without creating them. After clicking Process, you'll be taken automatically to the Batch Shipments list, where you can view information about all batches you've processed, as well as print the batch report and all ship docs.